<laughs> Guys, your next comic coming to the stage. He's been a regular here. He's been a regular at uh, the Middle East. He's on the stage. Sam Hyde, everybody. Hey, so, uh, <laughs> so I don't want to start off by uh, asking for money here, but I promised my, my brothers that I would. Um, I'm part of a, a program called the Wounded Warrior Project. You might have heard of it, but essentially what it is is Marines like me, when we get back, uh, we're real fucked up. And so what they do is they... Uh, they, they have us, uh, they basically try to set us up with jobs. So I have this cup here, it's a clean cup, and I ask them, I'm gonna ask you guys to pass it around, and please put in, uh, you know, a dollar, or ten, or a hundred dollars in this cup, and please don't steal it, because stealing from the troops is a tragedy, a national tragedy, and I'm not gonna have any of that in here, and I might snap, I might have a gun. I might wear my top. You don't know what I've seen, okay? I do have a gun, it's not on me, or is it? I might snap tonight. Fill her up. So like I said, the Wounded Warrior Project, it takes, you know, troops like me, with crazy brains, that's the condition that I have, it's called crazy brains, and they find us, you know, jobs we can do. Um, Trash picker, uh, woman abuser, uh, alcoholic, bum, uh, and things like that. Uh, so for a while, when I got back, I, they set me up. I was a school teacher. I didn't do too well. So, but they, after that, they turned me into a prison guard, and that worked really well. So I'm, a, I'm. You might not believe me based on my disheveled look, but five days a week, uh, for ten hours a day, I'm a prison guard. And, uh, you know, you think of funny things on the job, when you see people in prison, when you see people in prison locked up with no freedom, they've had their freedom taken away, usually over, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of bullshit people get thrown in prison for. Uh, we currently, uh, we, we uh, imprison more people, I think, not even per capita, just period, more people than China does. And it's great for people like me, because I love being a prison guard. <laughs> So anyway, I, you see some stuff, you see funny stuff every day. You wouldn't think you see funny stuff, but you do see funny stuff as a prison guard. So I have this, I came up with this, and you know, I was telling my buddies in prison, when we were, we were hitting this guy, he, he said something about, uh, he said something like, uh, you know, he said something like, yo, yo, fucker CEO. He had a rap, he, he, it was, it was a black guy, obviously. He had a rap. <laughs> He had written raps and said, yo, yo, fuck a CO. We found it when we were cleaning a cell out. And so we were hitting this guy, you know. And I, was, and I told them about this funny thing that I thought of. They said, hey, you should go do stand up with this. So here I am bringing joy into your lives. Uh, this is the top 10 things you don't want to hear when you first get to prison. Number 10. Hi, welcome to prison. I'm Bubba. Good thing he came on a Friday. Just Friday's butt sex day. Not a lot of people opt out. So we all just have, we all have like a big orgy. That's cool that you're here so you can kind of get acclimated. Uh, <clears throat> number nine. Okay, the number nine thing you don't want to hear when you first get to prison is, uh, hey, did you pick a new cellmate yet? <laughs> By the way, uh, if you need to borrow some knee pads, just let me know. I don't know if you brought your own. <laughs> if you hear that when you get to prison, you know you're in hot water. Okay, number eight. We're at number eight on the list. Things you don't want to hear when you get to prison. You got a few days to pick. Time to choose up, little nigga. <laughs> you hear that when you get to prison. Things are not going your way. Number seven. You fuck me, but I'll be nice to you. I spoil my hose. Cigarettes, cup soup, chips, anything you want. Just fuck me. If you 
you hear that when you get to prison, you can count on the fact that the rest of your prison experience is not going to be as good as life before prison. Number six. All right, nigga, time to choose. We gonna do this the easy way, or we gonna do this the hard way? Now, if you hear number six when you get to prison, I feel sorry for you. I'll hurry up here. Number five. Hey, you little white bitch. I need to bust a nut. It's time. Open your ass to me. Why and shit? Did I mention I'm girthier and rougher than most of the other inmates? Number three. Now, we're getting into territory here. You hear this when you first get to prison. You gotta do something. You gotta, you know, hang yourself in your shoelaces, try to escape, uh, punch out a CO, and, you know, they'll, they'll beat you, but they'll put you in solitary afterwards. Do something. Get yourself out of this situation. Number three. This is what you don't want to hear when you first get to prison. Yeah, nigga. Say fuck my white ass, nigga. Say fuck my lily white ass, nigga. Say that shit, bitch. Say that shit, bitch. You definitely don't want to be hearing that. You're going to be in the Number two. Things you don't want to hear when you first get to prison. Shit, man. I just gave that little white nigga AIDS and shit. And I took his shoes. That's the worst, that's the second worst thing you can hear when you first get to prison. Take it from me. Are we passing the cup around still? Who has the cup? Raise your hand. Pass that around, my friend, please. Thank you, Warrior Project. For the troops. Pass it around. Put a couple of bills in there. What? Thank you, brother. No, 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 no. You don't touch that. That's right. Number five, okay? You know what they say about us Marines? They say you can't kill a Marine, you just regroup in hell. So Paul, you don't fuck with a Marine. I might stab. And the number one thing you don't want to hear in that crucial early prison phase that determines the rest of your prison life, this is what you don't want to hear, is Sweet Emotion by Aerosmith. Thank you very much.